First thing is that we don't have to panic. The reason why Houston is one of the fastest subsiding cities in the United States is because of its soil. The soil here in Houston is made of clay and basically what happened is that we have we are pumping water out of the ground and this clay soil goes down and the more water we pump out of the ground the more the the, the ground goes down so that's the physical phenomenon that is happening and yes you were right we can monitor this today as we were never able to do it in the past with in very we can do this kind of measurements in a very very accurate way how quickly are some parts sinking i mean it's all different around the community around greater houston but i mean how give us a sense of how much sinking we're talking about we're talking of a steady rate of about half inch per year some areas um an inch per year um, this per se is not is not alarming. It's it's about if we start pumping up water faster, we know that because of the physics, the ground is going to go down faster. Um, the issue here is that the way the ground is going down, it's broad. We have uh, broad areas located in west of Houston and northwest of Houston that are um, subsiding because of, of ground water. Subsiding is the technical term we um, use for identifying land moving downwards. And this is because of groundwater extraction. We also have some localized uh, subsidence uh, in the Bay Channel because of uh, oil and gas, basically. Uh, it, it, this could cause could have several, some consequences in terms of um, uh, in a limited cases you, could, you can have cracks uh, uh, in your foundation, your house, your building. Uh, this happens if the pattern is very very localized. Whereas the main issue when the pattern is broad is that it could change the how the water flows and increase uh, flood risk. So that's what we are working on at the University of Houston right now using. Uh, an approach including sensors, uh, data from space, from satellite in space, as well as uh, models.